What you are looking at right here is a triops. That is because I wanted to try and raise some triops because it seemed like a lot of fun. And it totally was. I had to find a way to heat the water to the right temperature and I came up with this. A little lamp in a tiny little jar, which will hopefully provide enough heat. Let's test it. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh, and here you go, silly Fahrenheit people. Now that I have some distilled water at the correct temperature, I can put in the eggs. Initially, there were a few babies, but they all died. Except for this one. Two weeks later, he was clearly visible. There was also some sort of daphnia. Not great footage, I know, but it's a proof it's there. Only a day later, it had grown quite a bit more and was actively looking for food. I also realized that this wasn't a triops larva, but a fairy shrimp. It grew so fast that it had gotten noticeably larger even later the same day. And now I was able to, sort of, film it with a macro lens. Now here's some clearer footage of the Daphnia. To be honest, I actually don't think it is a Daphnia, because it doesn't look like any of the Daphnia species I know, but it's definitely some sort of water flea. It must have come out of one of the eggs, which I thought were only Triops eggs, but I guess not. As you'll see later on, there's more than only this individual. Now don't get scared. But four days later, the tribes looked like this. That is some insane growth. Only a day after that, it got almost twice as big. The growth pattern is quite interesting. It is not linear. It's not exponential. It doesn't even follow a sigmoid function or S-curve, which I kind of expected. But one thing's for sure, it's growing really quickly. It's truly amazing how fast it grows. It seems to gain more volume every day than I feed it. But it's easy to be misled by the relatively big exoskeleton. Still though, it feels like you could literally watch it grow. That means it is also molting and shedding its exoskeleton a lot. You can hopefully see the shed exoskeleton laying at the front of the ball. But I took the opportunity to finally film the fairy shrimp, because it was extremely camera shy. It also grew quite a bit. This was the first time, and so far only time, I have seen a freshwater artemia in real life. Pretty cool. Anyway, here I have a good picture of the triop swimming next to a fresh malt. Because the triops was swimming so fast, I decided to film some macro slow-mo in order to get a better understanding of what was going on. I watched this clip over and over and over and over, maybe 20 or even 30 times, and I highly encourage you to do the same. Every time I watch this clip, I discovered something new. I think it'll be a lot of fun and you'll learn a lot. I would like to take this opportunity and tell a bit more about the triops. When we say triops, we are referring to the genus of triops, in the family of Triopsidae. The species you're looking at right now is the triops longicaudatus. What I love about this footage is that you can clearly see different parts of the body such as the different kinds of antennae, the upper legs, the lower legs with gills, the segments in its tail, and how it uses its legs to filter everything it tries to eat, as if it were a conveyor belt.
called a triops because it has three eyes. Two compound eyes in the front and a very light sensitive eye in the back. Now unfortunately the triops loves to show its belly, but you should be able to see its eyes throughout the video. The way it feeds is really fun to see. Of course it wouldn't perform in front of the camera, duh, but it passes everything across its body and when it finds something to eat it holds on to that while it continues to pass everything along. It is now exactly one month after it has hatched and as you can see it got really big. The water also got full of algae, no matter how many water changes I did. The water didn't get any better. The triops won't mind, but it's just not aesthetically pleasing. Unfortunately, triops only get to live one or two months, and after about one and a half months, this triops died. This did mean that I got to take a closer look under the macro lens of the backside, and this gave some detailed shots. Interestingly enough, it all shriveled up. I thought that its shell would remain completely solid, but I guess it never really was. Pro tip, if you're using DuckDuckGo, do not search images of shriveled up. Now unfortunately I broke the two thingies on its tail. But not counting the thingies on its tail and not counting the antennae it got over 5 cm long. Which is quite a respectable size. So this was a little bit of a different video than usual. Which I think is important and I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching. That it had gotten noticeably big, blah blah blah.